Housatonic Regional Valley High School is uh, where I attended for four years. It's a great establishment. I love the school. Um, it has mailboxes. Hey. And a great music program, and that's what I came here for. But this tree is a European beach, and uh, this is a place where I come to think and uh, sometimes write lyrics of songs and just hang out. Like, this. you hear that? That's a chickadee. Chickadees are cute animals. Um, also, I have a lot of girlfriends that live in the tree. Um, they're kind of shy. They're not coming out right now. But maybe you'll see them later. So this is where I uh, go to school. Being able to play here in a couple days, I'm so excited. In this auditorium, there are so many different things that are memorable to me. This place has autographs carved since 1961. Everything here has history and everything here has a story. The Henry Burgers Auditorium is here to stay. It was always just whispers, just like, you know, if you wanted to start a band, you know, you were, you always had this huge Jimmy in the Pits, like, cloud hanging over your head, you know what I mean? So, that was the epitome of what you had to be. You had to be as good, if not better, than they were, which you knew was an impossibility, but you had to at least try. I wanted to start out with uh, the Flesh Eaters, but that kind of gave a, off a culty vibe. Something we weren't going after. Then it went to Jimmy and the Zits, but I was like, No flapping way, man. I ain't no zit. And then it took off. We had the brilliant idea of Jimmy and the Pits. You know, I'd say the most rewarding part of this whole experience for me is being able to go home to my friends to my friend and saying I'm part of Jimmy and the Pits because just the name alone just holds this reputation that's holds insurmountable respect and appreciation of a few people. You know, the people who matter, like my wife, ex-wife, same person. I, I divorced her for this band because I think that's really my calling in life. So, um, I don't know, I've played drums for about like 50 years and uh, I also play other instruments such as piano and guitar and recorder and keyboard and uh, ukulele and I sing too and I write the songs and it's just, I don't know, sometimes Jimmy steals all the thunder but what are you going to do about that? I mean, can't have everything but you know, I'm, I'm, I guess it's okay to be here. Hi, so I'm Mickey. I've been playing the cowbell for about nine years now. My grandma thought it was really an inspirational instrument that most young men should learn. So she gave me her old cowbell that her dad gave her. And I've just been playing it ever since. And then last week I picked up the guitar and you know, it's it's coming along, but I'm not I'm not nearly as good as I am as a, at the cowbell. But you know, Jimmy's Jimmy's been trying to take over the cowbell position from me, which I'm not very happy about. But you know, it's it's okay. It's probably what Grandma would have wanted anyway. So.
You're late again for the fifth time this week. Whoa. Don't whoa me, dude. We have a freaking concert coming up soon. Well, are we doing Eastern Standard Time or Mid Atlantic? Eastern Standard. Why? Because that's where we live! Okay. Can I play the drums today? I guess so. Ah. Uh. Uh. I don't, I don't really like it when I get angry because um, sometimes my inner eddy comes out. What I mean by that is, uh, you see, I, was, I spent the first five years of my life in Spain, and I've never really lost that Spanish root I've had. So sometimes I'll just come out and the Spanish, little Spanish angry boy just whips out out of nowhere. It's scary because I can't control it. But, uh, yeah. I'm a bit of a foreign hunky nut. Eddie, number one! So. So, Jeff, he likes to sleep up there because his hometown of South America. You know, he's still kind of jet lagged from the plane ride a couple years ago. So, he tends to sleep up in here. And he just takes power naps or he just sleeps overnight. And he tends to sleep standing up. It's, it's common for his tribe. We're having flashbacks to the storm! Ah! <laughs> No. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh. So I was adopted by this Latino family, and uh, they raised me in the great South American nation of Colombia. I grew up playing the bagpipes. At age four, I was a ceremonial bagpipe player. I performed at Irish soldiers' funerals. I didn't speak any language, just, just the language of music, which is a really beautiful thing in my, in my mind. That's, that's my home, nestled in those bushes. And uh, that's me. And uh, you know, dude, I'm just, I'm just really tired right now. Jet lag, I understand. Jet lag. The beauty of it is that I can, I can sleep here, while, while I write my music, because I need a well-rested mind to produce the beautiful masterpieces which I produce. So, uh... This is the music lab. We do stuff like mix music in here. And uh, I know, kind of just jam out sometimes. We want to listen to some songs from other bands and whatnot. And like, kind of get some ideas. That's, uh, so we come in here. Mickey! What? Mickey! What? How's it going? What? Uh, what are you listening to? It's my own jam. What? I don't know. I'm listening to Led Zeppelin. Cool. So what about the grandma? What? What about the grandma? 
Oh, the cowbell? I don't yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. She told me last week I should. Something but then like I that. didn't. You didn't? No. So this is the room where I usually come and get the most work done. Um I don't know, I I do a lot of listening in here to get inspiration. It works a lot. I usually try to find songs that I can mostly compare to and mostly get the right notes to and whatnot. And yeah, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's also a good not kind of me time, so you know. What are you listening to? What? What are you listening to? Oh, the cow goes moo! Uh. The horse gallops very fast. Where is the horse galloping to? Maybe it's galloping home? What do you call the horse's house? Where does the horse live? You're a genius. In the stable. The horse lives in the stable. Look, the horse has arrived at the stable. This is Cow Walking by Jimmy Fatbottom. It's time for dinner, Papa! You need to come in! The cows are coming! I've spent my whole life attaining this lifelong dream of becoming a pit. And uh, every night I throw it all away just for this guy to come and sit down and play terrible music. I'm usually the ones making the songs or coming up with the arrangements and kind of leading us through what we're doing and booking the practices. And I don't get as much credit as Jimmy does because Jimmy's like the face of the band. Like, he's the head honcho, apparently, but it's just uh, it seems as if he doesn't put as much work in as some of us others do, you know? This here is a marimba, and I'm going to play an E-flat chord for you. I think he should go to hell. I think that this band will go to hell without me. And, like, I, I call my mom twice a week and I talk to her and she says that I should stand up for my... I, I'm trying, man. I'm, I'm trying. I'm probably gonna make a song one day of uh, just farty noises. It's gonna be Jimmy and the Farts. Be a great song. It's, it's just Jimmy's a real pain in the ass to work with. I'd say we have creative differences to put it, to put it nicely, but in reality, he's kind of a sleaze bag, and I don't think he carries the true nature of the pits. Whew! It's the big night. I'm, I'm feeling. I'm feeling a great deal of uh, anticipation. You know, this is this is all quality equipment here. See, see the circle. See how circular it all is. It's just so circular. Everything's so circular. And the stick is really sticky. Very. Sticky stick, and I hit the circle with the stick like so. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna tell you anymore because otherwise we'll be com competing for this job as a drummer, part-time drummer. The energy is resonating in me, and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that this is a culmination of my life's work, and that this will be the display of myself as a person, as well as my spirit, and all of my years and years of hard work and I just hope I have the opportunity to to do that and not have to be kicked off the stage again like I have so many times in the past but I, I don't think that'll happen this time because you know I'm feeling it and when I feel it I it always comes out all right so I'm really looking forward to tonight my grandmother is probably gonna be here who basically inspired me to play the cowbell but as I said before, I started playing the guitar a week ago, so... Jimmy doesn't really want me to play the cowbell. Jimmy's got a really controlling attitude. 
over all the band members. You know, I'm pretty excited other than that. Just hope Jimmy doesn't show up. Hello? Yeah, it's not talking to me back, so uh... Is that how a mic works? You just take a look at that immense crowd. Well, you know, it, it will be, because the seats are there, so people will be there. I'm already nervous, though. Like, I'm sweating balls right now. Yo, Jeff! Jeff! He's not here! Jimmy didn't show up! The show's starting in two minutes. I don't know where he is, man. I don't know where he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for live, I bring you Jimmy and the Pits! <laughs> I'm smarter, I'm smarter than a moose, it's time to, it's time to start busting loose, well I've been on one hell of a ride, but that ain't no match of my thick raw hide, it's time, smarter than a moose. Well, I think more, I think more than a moose, and I can do, I can do what I choose, well, I'm able to shower and shave, cause I don't live in a goddamn cave, yeah, I'm smarter than a moose. 